about eternity Some kind of ecstasy got a hold on me Yeah, ready to go Ready, man In the archive There we are Woo. Running down the dream <laughs> I'm John Snepkin, Director Emeritus of the Liberty Hyde Bailey Museum in South Haven, Michigan I'm on a quest with fellow former director John Lindstrom searching for Liberty Hyde Bailey in Ithaca, New York. We're driving to Cornell University's Mann Library. Its fourth floor houses the Liberty Hyde Bailey Hortorium Herbarium, a collection of approximately 900,000 dried and preserved plant specimens. 125,000 of these were collected by Bailey from places such as China, Brazil, and even in Grenada on his 90th birthday. Bailey donated this collection to Cornell, and that established the Liberty Hyde Bailey Hortorium in 1935. I'm hoping here I may find clues to what he was doing in Grenada, specifically on his 90th birthday. Now, I need to confess that the idea of dried plants is as exciting as dried plants. But, with the support of Bailey, I'm about to be introduced to a much larger world. <laughs> it's like get smart. <laughs> With the assistance from a Hortorium curator, John and I weave through hundreds of full-size specimen cabinets to what has been called Dr. Bailey's great monographic study. Species Petorium, genus Rubus, in North America. Well, it's known to you and me as raspberries, or uh, the great berry family. But by the 1940s, Bailey's collections of Rubus comprised over 17,000 sheets. Just a small example of his scientific output. We also come across a multitude of photos by and of Professor Bailey, and to my delight, his actual collecting case. But finally, we come to Bailey's Field Notebooks, and I'm hoping to find some documentation of his 1948 journey. In the trip entries I come across, Bailey describes his exotic surroundings, the many alert gliding lizards, or bats in the daytime. Other entries are windows into his feelings, forest is not my enemy, my youth in the forest, and relief from radio and audacious things to sell. And then I find this. Calendar your year for 1948. The journal he took to Grenada. What was Bailey thinking on his 90th birthday when Cornell was all astir? It should not be surprising. March 15th, 4.33, two photos to cluster end to end axis all red for not yet right. And here's the palm that Professor Bailey found, still preserved, at the Horatorium. So much of the science liberty hate Bailey was ensconced in is frankly beyond me, but even so, I still want to understand more. Bailey wrote, To find the fact and know the truth, this is the purpose of the quest of science. It cannot be partisan if its judgment is that of the open mind. Seeking. Science is free to all men. So far, they're able to understand. Next stop, Cornell's Rare Manuscript Collections. Sun's up, mm-hmm, looks okay. The world survives into another 